I want to say, loved that so many people had their head up. Loved that so many people were dribbling with their fingertips. Loved that when they got their ball tag, they were going to the exercise station. Awesome, awesome job. And go. He's a heck of a phys ed teacher. You know, you give him, you know, kids this big, kids that big, and he's able to uh, to make it work and, and do it do it very well. I was at Mercy as a PE teacher and coach for 14 years. Besides the professional aspect of it, my parents went to Mercy as well. They met at Mercy. I met my wife at Mercy, and both my uh, brother and sister attended Mercy as well. I was hoping my children would attend as well. I was in a varsity baseball for 12 years, in and out of probably every basketball role uh, for about a good 10 years, as well as strength and conditioning program at Mercy. Now the role that I'm in, I went from the high school to uh, elementary, so I'm K through 8 PE teacher here at the uh, Riverhead Charter School. I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired too, just watching you boys and girls. That was a lot of dribbling today. He's dynamic in, in, in what he does and how he relates to the kids. He has a wealth of knowledge, he studies the game. For me it was really, um, it was fun to work with him and, and to watch how he got those kids to compete on a, on a daily basis. Eddie is the epitome of what you want as a coach. He wears his heart on his sleeve, he cares, he sets a bar high for all of his teams. He, he knows each and every one of his kids, he knows what works for them. You know, he was able to, to know how hard he could push a kid or what kid he had to kind of handle a little bit differently um, to get the most out of his athletes. We had a meeting called, uh, I was kind of out of the blue, and um, during the meeting they basically said that we were going to shut down at the end of the school year. Uh, that was a shock to I think our whole community. And I mean, I know that there was, you know, talk with all the sports, you know, baseball and softball. Do we even want to play? Like, what are we going to do? You know, um, and you saw with the leadership of the coaching staff that they were able to take a horrible situation and turn it around and turn it into, you know, an amazing, an amazing time for those kids, those families and those coaches. My rallying cry to them after I had to get over because I was just as shocked as anyone. So after a week of just being like blown away by the news was don't let it define you. This isn't you. Like the school's not closing because of us, because of the teachers, because of the students. So don't let this moment define who you are. Coach had brought me and my uh, friend Alan, who were the two seniors on the team together, to uh, just kind of make sure that everyone was still in, you know, for the season because we really did expect that we were going to do well. And that being said, we wanted to make sure that we could still compete and make this last season with the school as good as we could make it. We were a week or maybe a week and a half into the season when we, the news broke that, that we were no longer going to have a school. Uh, I think it was emotional. Uh, rarely am I emotional. And that kind of bled through the first time uh, talking to the to the players because it hit me just how many students had come through there. The first practice afterwards, uh, Coach Meyer and Coach Dorosky had got the whole team together, and we said, "There's nothing left for us to lose, so let's go out with a bang." Uh, we used baseball as a distraction from that, uh, so kind of. Hey, take that energy, hone your craft. Well, how can you be a better player today for us? You can't control what's going to happen in two or three months, but you can control your actions for the next three hours. They bought into that, and, and so did the, the staff. You know, but to go out every day and put on that, that face and wear that, you know, that pride and that, like, okay, guys, we got this. You know, we're going to we're gonna grow from this, we're going to learn from this, and we're going to give it all we have, you know, in our final, in our final at bat. We did make playoffs. I mean, first time I'd ever made playoffs in baseball. It was best season of baseball I've ever played. We knew we could compete and we competed to our fullest extent. The playoffs were the most intense thing I think we've ever been a part of for my 14 years. Every single pitch meant something, every single hit, every a walk and the guys were, were screaming from the bench. After I just remember, we always hugged the seniors, uh, you know, thanks for everything you've done for us. I remember do, doing that to every single player. The, some moments are just too big to kind of comprehend at that point. They went out there with all they had, they threw their hearts over the fence and, and it went. Just my time at Mercy um, was something that I would never give up. Uh, I mean, I learned a lot. I got in real young, so I learned a lot from that place. I hope the, the young men and women that I had a chance to teach and coach did as well. It was a place that I think shaped a lot of I mean, not only players and students, but teachers as well. It was a community that, that you didn't really get away from without it, it changing you in, in a certain way. And um, for that, I'm grateful because I am a 
a better teacher from that place and, and coach because of that place than if I had not gone there.